Harry finally finds a way to save the crumbling Sussex brand, again taking advantage of Royal, Harry is ready to hit the road, raising the possibility that he is about to accomplish the almost unthinkable and save the Hello brand and a warm welcome to the Royal Family YouTube news channel. Honestly people at this point I don't even think Harry knows what he wants other than what Meghan wants in my opinion. Harry should keep all the privileges of his position as a prince without having to face any of the commitments necessary for this position. Meghan wants them both to take their cake and eat it. Of course, that would never have happened, the late queen was 100% right when she told them it was either you in or you out. You can't have it both ways. Of course, at the end of the day, we really don't know if Meghan is to blame for this or if it's just her. She knows. I believe Harry orchestrated their departure from the royal family, he wanted all the money he wanted. All the benefits, but he really didn't want to have to do any work and Harry got a lot of what he deserved. He has nothing of his family. The thing is, he still deserves so much more and that's not good. He deserves to have those titles taken away, IT would be a good start. Harry needs to understand how to really work, just like the people they like to tell how to work. They need to find a real job where they sweat to earn a living. Do something dirty? Maybe they would both realize that they are actually normal people, they may have a lot more money than your average Joe, but ultimately there's nothing special about them. But still, Harry has apparently been busy packing all the essentials like his passport and power adapters and travel sizes for folding singing bowls. I guess his diary. I'm sure he's packed his bags by now. I don't even want to think about Harry's packing list, but still, it's Tuesday, the most famous wiener will take flight for three and a half years. Harry has mostly stayed in the US and now he's apparently gone he's gone to a multi-city multi-country almost like we've seen since he and Meghan decided to ditch the handshake business polished on August 9th Harry is said to be in Tokyo trying to figure out how to use some wands, and is also expected to attend a summit focused on sports, community, and philanthropy. And then three days later, it will be in Singapore. We'll play in the hand of the charity Centibale Apollo Cup will also play Harry's best Argentines and that's not all, from September 9th to 16th, he will return to Europe to attend the Invictus Games. And now, at this point, we don't know if Meghan will come or not. She was still glued to his side. Not so much lately. So who really knows this year will also take place in London in September an organization that Harry has been a patron of since 2007, considering he's always attended awards before me and due to the pandemic. So I guess he might appear there too. And let us remember that during this period we will have the two birthdays of the Sussexes. Meghan turns 42 or 40 on August 4th, then Harry turns 39 on September 15th and at some point over the summer, Harry's highly anticipated Netflix documentary about the invitation he created for wounded women, wounded, military and sick will finally be released given that during this time the royal family will be vacationing in a pretty corner of Scotland where there is probably not much available. It could be a pretty cool exchange with Harry and Meghan about to be everywhere and the team crown, mostly absent from the picture, were about to see heaps of them everywhere at once. Going into this period, the stakes could not be higher. Harry has a lot to do on this little tour, so can he pull off a big reset? Could this international tour turn the tide and right the pea ship for Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Hypocrisy? The last two months must be among the most difficult for the couple since leaving their real working lives to fend for themselves, they fled to the United States with nothing but money from Harry's inheritance in those bonds to keep them going. Was it brave? Well, some say yes, but still, isn't it strange to think that their near-catastrophic scenario of a car chase by paparazzi in New York City happened less than two months ago? I mean, think about everything that's happened since. Their ideal Spotify is gone, IT looks like their relationship with Netflix is about to end as well. And apparently Netflix won't be renewing the contract. All the comedians made fun of the two. Even Hollywood bigwigs shared their thoughts on the two of them and I was called a crook and talentless and now it seems the California crazies are following them. 
each Harry has become the first member of the royal family to hold this position in over 130 years and it is an experience that would have left him on the verge of tears and in all that time no big name has come forward to take some kind of support seriously, how much can two people take even if you have all this money in all these material possessions, but still, this little one might be just what they need. This could really change things for both of them as Harry is about to do something he hasn't done in a long time. He is about to act like a prince. He will go there to do charity work, connect with veterans and service personnel, and be taken to the polo field to vote. That's exactly what he's good at. This is the kind of territory where he really made a name for himself back when he could still use his H in the pool at Buckingham Palace. So maybe a month or two of fun for Harry doing a job he really cares about could be just the thing he and Meghan need so badly. These trips can serve as a perfectly timed reminder of why Harry was often alone with his grandmother, the Queen of the Lake, when it came to the most popular member of the royal family, a reminder of how who's charming and funny, is it possible, I mean, is it possible to see old Harry return after years and years of seeing that wretched boy for so long? Now we've seen Harry miserable, Harry's most miserable interviews, Harry's most miserable Harry TV show, and this stupid book. At some point, I mean somewhere along the line, things really changed, a tea was understandable and probably healthy for him to lighten up like that at first, we understood he might need to throw some things away, but that changed at some point and it just became a case of a pilgrim. So maybe this little journey that Harry is about to embark on will go a long way towards marking a whole new chapter for both of them. This may be exactly what they desperately need. I mean, are we going to see the launch of 2.0 or 3.0 or 4.0 or whatever? Have the last few months been just a challenge and what will ultimately be a success? I mean, remember, everyone loves a good comeback and everyone loves that shitty booze too. They sell duty-free so Harry might be about to have both and you. What do you think of Harry? Please tell me your opinion below in the comments section and we can discuss your thoughts and feelings as well. If you find my video useful, don't be afraid to like it and share it with anyone else who needs it, and hit subscribe for more updates from the Family News Team Royal. Thank you very much for listening. Goodbye and we'll be back to see you all tonight.